Hello, hello guys, this is Doc M and I'm playing on the Minecraft server. Yes, indeed. And guys, something really weird is going on. Look at that. HSA surveillance camera 24 of 32. Man, 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 bad memories of some woodpecker prank in my jungle come up. Ooh, snap. So, I think it is the Hermit Surveillance or Security Agency. And he's got these cameras all over the server. And another thing I discovered. Look at that. What the heck is going on? Keep ID card on you at all times. Hermit Security Agency. And this is my ID card. I have to carry. Hmm. Man, this totally goes against my inner... Like... Even in real life, I normally don't carry my ID with me, or rarely do, just because I always forget to take it with me. So I assume this thing... What is that? What is going on again? This hermit. This hermit. He's up to something again. I don't know what the heck that is. I'm concerned. Why is he? I don't like to be. You know what? I don't like to be watched, but I know the hermit likes emerald, so... Oh, wait. Oh, we can't. Um, let's put a emerald in front of him. Wait, I need some some blocks to help me do it. Okay, this thing I think we can, we can take out. Let's see. Let's grab some helper blocks here real quick, and then we block off the vision of this stupid camera. He must not see what we do here. I have big trading plans plans for today because oh, will it fit here <gasps> oh looks like we broke the lens well was not intended okay but I think we got it blocked off now that's all right we are against spy cams no good comes from them who knows what we're doing here? Nah, 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 nah. No way, Hermit. Watch the emerald. You like the emerald green. I, I know that. Should not be able to complain about that. So, trading. Um, let's say... Wait. We need to... We can't... Let's put the stuff we got from the camera up in here. So in case, you know, we can come back and um, claim his property. We don't want to do any damage. Who knows? might sue or something okay so I need to dig so I started to dig over there um, wanted to repair the ball smacker and oh man the XP farm situation we have on the server is bad well not too bad but it could be better best we had an enderman XP farm at the moment I don't feel like I want to get sidetracked again I want to pull through so I'm in some kind of a dilemma either I rush to the end make the um, farm or well we do the villager thing. And um, here, this is a normal, what is that? A priest. And priests uh, also have uh, some very interesting trades to them. Um, they can sell you bottles of enchanting amongst glowstone, redstone, ender eyes, and some other good stuff. So, yeah, I guess um, we'll try to unlock this bad boy here and see what we get. I traded with him once. And he unlocked this trade to emeralds plus iron sword gives us a knockback iron sword. I mean, that's not a very good trade, but um, we can use um, the iron swords and tools we got from trading, so it will not cost us anything. Um, and yeah, I'm not looking into such trades anyways. I am interested in um, unlocking glowstone, redstone. I mean, glowstone alone. Why do I build a witch farm? You know? Why do I build a witch farm? Just use the villagers. They give you all the drops too. <laughs> but yeah. Alright. Um, witch farm is of course faster. Oh. Oh. Alright. Um, so what can happen is with the tool trades, enchantment trades, as far as I know, you will get one iron trade enchanted uh, gear. This, this can be a sword a pickaxe, a normal axe or a chest plate. 
Same goes for diamond, so these two traits you will get. So at the moment we have Bane of Etherpods 3 and Fire Aspect. Oh, and fire Aspect, I wouldn't complain about that. Um, it's the Spider Killer. Okay, so let's take one of our traded swords here and go for it. It has to be done. Wait. Oh, it can also be flipped around. All right. It has to be done. I need a, a better way to get XP. And as we have the blacksmith now unlocked, we are saving, we're building up uh, emerald supply actually. And this can be used to buy XP bottles, you know. Not the most efficient way, we need a bunch of them probably, but who gives a crap? Aha, uh -huh. yeah, here's a tool. Efficiency 2, unbreaking 1. Not the worst. Okay, but so it... Hmm, okay, potentially then we could have, um, I guess, okay, I see. Or what happened there? Yes, it's an additional one. Okay, so I assume what could happen is we could have sword, pickaxe, axe, and chestplate of diamond and um, iron all unlocked plus the normal traits he has, I think. We'll see. We'll see. Looks interesting. Very interesting. I never really looked into... Uh, priest trading too much because in my worlds I played before I always had um, fast XP farms and thus I never really thought about trading for XP bottles okay this time it was locked so we need to go to this guy over here and trade us one more pickaxe okay let's do this one more we have to dig deep into our supply a bit, but no problem. Okay, let's do that again. I mean, it's two, not too bad pickaxes. You can use them to for work pickaxes. Uh, maybe we can try to merge them and see what we can make of it. We'll see. If you get a bunch of them, you can get a lot of very good work picks out of that, actually. Man, this trading is so freaking cool. I mean, yeah, we could... Let me quickly check. <coughs> we can combine this pickaxe as well. What would happen? Yep, efficiency three. And then we combine another two of them and then we have perfect work pickaxes. Man, I'm gonna keep this villager for sure, whatever happens, but this trade is very good. I mean, may you could potentially get better, but it's cheap. I love it, I love it. Aha, Eye of the Ender. Yes, great. I also always wanted to make my Ender chest here forever. So that should be no problem now. Holy moly, man. Even for me, you know, I, I do trading with villagers for a while, but I still am fascinated. I wonder why it never got big. It is really great, actually. It's awesome. <laughs> I saw it also with the feedback of you guys. You really uh, love the trading. In, um, so I guess today we're going to do a bit more trading again. Yeah, here we go. Now we got the X. Yeah, so I'm, we might be right. We will get four enchanted tools of each diamond um, and um, iron before he unlocks all trades. That is very interesting. We will, man. Then think about it. You get XP bottles from him. Use the XP bottles to get the level to merge uh, pickaxes, and then I could make perfect work pickaxes. The exact, you know, on demand, the ones we need. Man, this is the new. This is gonna be the new top selling hit in our shop. Ah, oh, man, I'm getting really excited here, guys. I'm really, really getting excited. It's awesome. Hmm, why didn't I think about that earlier? About the priest. That's a, a very interesting villager here. <laughs> People will think I'm crazy now if I get so excited about these villagers, but it's just, I just think it's pretty cool. Okay, we need an iron axe. How much is it? Six. Pretty bad deal. We still got a lot of emeralds. It's not like eating up our reserves like super fast. Okay, let's do this. Wait. Unbreaking three efficiency in fortune. On iron, oh well. Mm. Okay, we need um, another chest here. Here. Here we're gonna put all the enchanted gear we trade from the guy. And those are the interesting ones. I will definitely have to try to get more of these and merge them. Very cool. <laughs> 
Very cool. Okay, let's keep on going, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm. Ah. Okay, now it's getting a bit tougher, it seems. I'd say, hmm, I got the iron farm. I should make me the p uh, the iron axes myself, so we can, wait, I had some iron here. So I can save up on a bit of emeralds for that, because I don't think the six emerald trades for that is really worth it at the moment, as we get a lot of iron um, produced. So let's make two more pickaxes here. And try that out. Uh, I always, sorry guys, axes. God dang it. <laughs> I always uh, mess up pickaxes and axes. That is some kind of a weird, you know, ro brain malfunction or whatever. X, <laughs> it's a dang X. It's not a pickaxe. Uh, okay, I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it worked out of my system. I will constantly try to think about it now. We got another X. 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 It's an X. <laughs> okay. Come on, dude, and unlock something. We want to see some. Oh! Efficiency 2. Ah. Could be a bit better. Could be a bit better if you ask me. All my X's are up in the store. Okay, let's do this. Efficiency 2. I mean, it's not bad, but uh, yeah, not ideal. Okay, let's put that here. Alright. Let's see. Come on. Ah! Mmm! Protection 2 and Thorns 1. Hmm! Merge 2 of that. How? Oh. Good, good stuff, man. Thorns here is really pesky on the, on our server. We use thorns for death games, you know. <laughs> Could be really good. Okay, let's do this straight here. Wow, man, the priest is also very, very good. I have to say it again and again. I'm I'm really um, stoked about that. Oh man. Ha! The XP bottle trade already. Okay. Well, that's alright. That's alright, I guess. It costs one to get four. Okay, so let's do it just once. And toss him. Yeah, quite a bunch will be needed for it, but I think it could work out. Hmm. I like it. Okay. Let's keep it up, guys. Okay. Let's buy more XP bottles. I mean, it's by. I just want to level up on the side here. Let's see how that goes. Seven, eight, nine. Mm -hmm. Close to nine. Hmm. It is good. It is good. Feels like Detective Ash is on the case here. Like Sif HD would say. Yeah, Sif HD. I really like to watch his uh, live streams. He's uh, playing League of Legends. <laughs> and yeah, he's a, he's a fun guy. Really funny guy. And also a very good uh, League of Legends player. And yeah, guys ask about if I play League of Legends. Um, I'm more like a backseat gamer when it comes down to League of Legends. But I really like to watch it and enjoy uh, live streams of it. Did we have Iron... Uh, pickaxes. <laughs> um, nope. Mm, okay. I think we should also craft them. It's better. Because iron right now is not a big deal. Why we have the iron farm if not make good use of it. Okay. Let's do that. Let's do that. Um make three for now <coughs> so we got something okay let's keep it up trading for the win unbreaking two efficiency to pick X all right iron not really useful but well you could use it and just you know you work work with it a bit until it's gone 
It's not the slowest version if it has a bit of efficiency on. Okay, we have to do it again now. To do it again. Let's see how many times we have to trade for it. Until he unlocks the next thing. Still, alright. It's a bit harder trade to unlock the next one here. Yeah, we're getting up uh, in the probabilities. What is missing now is redstone and a gold trade as well. This guy also has a gold trade, um, which we don't want to see on last slot, to be honest. That would be eight, nine, up to nine gold ingots um, to unlock it again. So hopefully the gold trade is also really rare and something similar at least happens like we have with our paper villagers. More. <coughs> Let's make some more pickaxes then. All right, this could be a l bit of a longer trade session. Just prepare some in advance. Okay, let's go. Let's try again. See how many tries we need. So yeah, this guy uh, basically redstone, gold, and a few of the um, yeah armor and gear trades are missing. In total, it should be eight plus five. 13 trades or so. Okay. The problem is the data about trading is not really complete. For example, there is some charts which show you what kind of trades there are available, but um, they are not updated um, for a long, long time and they are not really complete. So I'm really thinking about doing um, a, a short and in depth explanation video about villager trading and uh, what trades can be unlocked. Here we go. Yeah, see? Now the chest plate is up. Okay, we need chest plates. We should have quite a few around, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Let's grab these two and these iron tools we throw in here. And the enchanted stuff goes there. Okay, let's do this. Um, chest plates is blast protection one. All kinds of, I mean, it's random gear, but good to have. Okay, again, I assume this could take a few tries as well. Uh, no, why did I throw my emeralds in there now? Oops, that looks wrong. <laughs> okay. Come on, don't let me trade for this chest plate forever. Uh, it's cheap though, I mean, it doesn't dig in our emerald supplies a lot. We didn't use much to unlock all these trades yet. Still have a bunch, so that should keep us going for a little while. I might have to make more chest plates though. Let's see. Yep. Okay, um, did we have some left still? Wait, here. No. Oh. There. <laughs> no, took him all. Okay, I'm gonna craft him. Not gonna trade for him. Let's make a few here. Okay, let's see if that was enough now. Three we traded already. Took them away. Four actually. Okay, let's see. Still. Still, still, still. We want to see what's after that. Would like to see the gold trade at some point now, but if not, all right. It's also okay. If it does, if it, if the chances are so low again, uh, should be cool. Wait. Um, oh, by the way, I have to set up. I have the farm set to breeding mode. Need to switch it off. Don't want to collect more villagers up. I think we should have a lot of them already in there. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. They need to be killed right now. I need some potions here. Um, yeah, that is also something I need. A quick killing system for the villagers here. I might install a lava system around there with some dispensers. You f push a button and then lava flows in. It just burns them. Lava blade, maybe, or something. Crusher. Uh, for these situations, if I just want to quickly breed some villagers and then... Uh, yeah, because the first one I got was this priest. This was the first when I activated the breeding, breeding machine, so... Okay. 
See? Lots of these chest plates. Blast protection. If they had at least protection one or so, maybe they could be useful to upgrade the death games or so. You know what I mean? Um, maybe we can use them to upgrade the death games. How about that? At the moment, yeah. All these shoes and stuff we have, we, we have to talk to Iso. Maybe um, he's interested in that. You know, make the death games a bit more exciting and dangerous for the, the guy who is attacked. Because right now most people have diamond gear. And yeah, last time when Paws attacked me, I was able to beat him. Um, and uh, the other way around with my fight with beat up. So it should be a bit more scary maybe. Holy cow, more. Okay. So I guess we have to dig in our into our, our iron supply real quick here. It's well worth it. Let's grab a stack. Okay. And make us a few more armor pieces. A few chest pieces. Alright. Let's do this. Come on. Unlock it already. takes a bit longer now. I might put a cut in the video if we don't unlock it. Ah! Okay. Alright, he's, he's, he's in there. Alright, so for one... That's good. Okay, that's good. And now I made all these armor pieces great, but what? what is the problem with it? We will think about this idea for the death game thing. Upgrade. Um, put that here. <laughs> chests are filling up random cannot put it here here we have all the chain gear yeah let's put them with that and put the rest of the enchanted stuff here all right it's good i have a glowstone trade now as well that's actually really helpful okay and redstone one i mean come on pretty cool so redstone trade is unlocked now the gold trade can be happening and um, still I think some of the gear trades. Sword we have, both swords are taken care of, pickaxe. Yeah, we can get some, I think, oh wait a minute. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay, the only trade that is missing is the gold trade. The only trade that is missing is the gold trade. So, let's see um, if we trade with the guy a lot. Well, that's nice. Okay, cool. Before we do anything, let's try to get as many um, enchanting bottles of enchanting as we can. 40... I'm going to invest all my emeralds um, aside of the stacks in that now. So now it is locked. So let's do one redstone trade. Get out of him again. Okay, that was 16 bottles. It looked like 40 or something, but yeah, it was locked before. 16 with one, one trade. That's actually okay. It's unlocked again. Did we unlock the next trade? No. As long as we don't get the gold trade, um, it's fine. Maybe it's the same situation as with the paper villagers over there. Did that just work? No! Uh, that is a little bit of a flaw when my emeralds t fall back like that. How much do we have? What? No, okay. <laughs> oh, man. Yes, client side glitch, glitchiness, glitchiness here. Okay. But we will keep on doing that. Okay, yeah, so guys, um, I'll be trading um, bottles of enchanting with all the emeralds we have here in our inventory. And we'll see how much we will get out of that. But it looks good. This is 40 already. Oh boy. So see you in a sec. Okay. It is done. And yeah, we got all this. Plus. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. This. <laughs> yes, okay. I mean, so two stacks of emeralds we traded about gave us this. 
this is awesome. This is awesome. So the plan now is, look, I trade the enchanted, I get pickaxes from this guy, take him, enchant him with this guy, merge him together using the XP bottles, and make me efficiency 5 pickaxe, which I rename them, and I will always be able to repair, implementing the beacon, and then we're gonna dig out that stuff, no problemo. I think you call that German efficiency. <laughs> no, just kidding. Okay, so what do we need to do? Mm, I guess we need to try out. Let's try out these 24 XP bottles here. We're sitting at level 8. Keep in mind, up to level 16, um, it's like linear growth. Uh, um, on top of level 16, the levels uh, come in slower. So we are at 9. It's random what you get from XP bottles. Oh, wait. Oh, there was some some lag or something going on. Okay. Mm. We are 12. I want to kind of do it a bit slow so we see the different stages of XP growth. Okay, now we read 16. From now on it will go a bit slower. Okay, we are at level 17. Good. So, now let's do the following. We go there. Where are the pickaxes? These two, we're gonna merge together, make a better one. We need to trade uh, a bunch of them and then we will uh, make us a very nice pickaxe to dig here without having to make an XP farm for now. That we bypass that smartly. Okay, so that is efficiency 3 now and unbreaking 2. So now we need two of them to merge them to make uh, efficiency 4 and then we need two efficiency 4 to make an efficiency 5. It'll cost me some emeralds but we saved some up with the stacks and yeah, I'll do the trades um, to get at this stuff and hopefully then we'll end up with a very epic pickaxe. Alright guys, I have two efficiency 4 unbreaking 3 pickaxes. That is nice to merge the two together, the efficiency 3 that costs 20 level each. So now let's see what it costs to merge that one and name it right away. 32, yeah. Okay, we will name it Thunder. Thunder! Just Thunder! Because it's like Thunder. It's gonna be so Thunder and and lightning this will be the name we can't we can't do it now it costs us 32 levels and then we have an efficiency thunder and lightning okay sweet perfect plan okay so we got a bunch of xp bottles left so now i assume we will maybe use all of them up i'm not sure we need to get 32 levels but it should work out hopefully one we got okay how many do we have left three stacks should work out Okay, let's toss here. <laughs> it's awesome. Survival Minecraft and I'm tossing XP bottles like it was nothing. Yes! Oh man. I'm enjoying stuff. I'm enjoying things right now in vanilla Minecraft. It's so freaking epic. Okay, um, let's keep on going. Yeah, it'll cost us a bunch of bottles. 25, 26, 27 wait for it to catch up a bit 30 need a bit more yeah now it's getting really expensive towards the upper half of the XP levels there we go 32 okay let's tuck that away 52 bottles left still it's all right um, we can get a bunch more okay so for 32 levels basically needed two stacks or so not almost not really two stacks okay good okay boom thunder and lightning sonor sonor that would be the shame if we messed up the name now like oh ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Thunder and lightning. Yep. Boom. Epic tool. Okay. Now, 
we go upstairs and we grab us iron from the farm and we make us iron blocks. Uh, blocks and blocks and blocks. A lot of iron blocks. Okay. Let's take all of that for now. And then let's do this. Spread it out a bit. Doesn't matter how. Okay. I'm not too much uh, OCD-ish about stuff like that. Okay, now let's see. Wait, how did that go? Couldn't we... Ah, yeah, did you know that trick? Whatever you have, um, like, you could do this. When you need to craft a lot of blocks, I can show you a nice trick. JL showed it also a while ago. But you can do... Kind of can do this to craft. If you have, like, all st stuff in your slot, and yeah, you would just toss more and more iron onto you and when I press 2, whatever is in slot 2 gets filled in here, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So if you fill everything, all your slots up now and toss a lot of the blocks you want to craft, you always have it on slot 1 and then you just you know, go 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 and you can quickly um, yeah, mass craft blocks and stuff. You would also like one and you know slot one would always be filled up and you press one again one you know what I mean? So by doing this if you have an iron farm output you can um, yeah work with that really well but okay let's craft the rest here into blocks let's see how much we have so far um, yeah bunch we might have to farm a bit more iron for it I really didn't do the math beforehand, but um, we might end up having enough. Let me see. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, what the heck. Spread out. Okay. So we got 64. We need more. Okay, we need more. We need more for that. Bunch more. And we might be a little bit short on iron still, guys. Yeah, let's go over to the beacon and uh, build us the platform so we can visualize it. What the? Hey, sister. Okay. So, I mean, we need to dig over there. So, let's say somewhat moved over this place. It's an 81 block radius. I wanted to dig here now. So, let's say around here we make the beacon platform for now. It should cover it should be way over there, but who cares? We need to see it. We can move it later on. Okay, we need a 9x9 nine nine for the lower base. 1, 2, 5, 9. Okay. Three. And here. Okay, let's do this. Okay, the first layer is completed and now more is needed. Yep, so we need to continue. We need a bunch more layers, but should go fairly quick now the top layers are not that bad this uh, 49 missing here 49 I mean minus the ones we have plus 25 plus 9 and then we should be cool do we even need another layer I don't think so was it should be alright with the four layers right yeah it's alright with the four layers then we will get the maximum effect out of it okay so, hmm, need to farm a bit more iron. I don't think we have enough yet. So I guess we have to wait until next episode to complete that. But then we're looking good. A lot of sugar canes have regrown. I think I will take them all out now, store away the stuff first. And with this, Epic Pickaxe produced now. Thunder and Lightning is in effect. Next time we will see how quick it goes and when we have haste too. With that thing in combination, it's super fast instant mining. Looking forward to that. <laughs> you will be able to go through the stone like you can go through nether wreck. And that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. And I hope it um, yeah, 
taught you a thing uh, or two about what villager trading can actually do in the game. Really like it, um, how it went. I made this great pickaxe. And yeah, I know you guys like the trading, so I thought we'd do a bit more trading heavy episode today. Hope you enjoyed that. See you next time. I'm out. Bye, guys.